Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. I have a very short video for you today. In today's video, I'm going to show you three, for lack of a better term, stupid Lightroom tricks. Hopefully there's something here that you haven't seen before. And if in the future, you'd like me to do more videos giving you more stupid Lightroom tricks, let me know in the comments below. This first stupid Lightroom trick pertains to Lightroom Classic only. You probably already know that if you're in the develop module of Lightroom Classic, that you could resize the right-hand panel. To resize the panel, you just need to hover your cursor at the edge of the panel, and when the cursor changes, you could click and drag. You could drag it in to make it narrower or out to make it wider. But there is a limit to how wide you can make the right-hand panel. But you might be in a situation where you need to make a very precise adjustment, and you'd like the throw on all of the sliders to be at their maximum. Well, you could drag this panel out to where it stops, and that's the maximum throw, you would think. Well, you actually could make this panel even wider. To do it, just hold in the Alt Option key while dragging. Alt if you have PC option. If you have a Mac, then click and drag, and you'll be able to drag the panel out considerably further, and then you'll be able to make that very precise adjustment. When you're done and you want to put the panel back to its more normal position, just click and start to drag it in and it will pop right back in. You don't have to hold in the Alt Option key to do that. So that is stupid Lightroom trick number one. Stupid Lightroom trick number two will work with both Lightroom Classic and the cloud version of Lightroom. If you're ever in a situation and you have a model and that model is in front of a seamless paper backdrop and that seamless paper backdrop happens to be evenly lit, but you wish you put a spotlight behind the model's head, you could actually do that in Lightroom Classic. As you can see, I have this image. The model's in front of the seamless paper backdrop, and the backdrop is evenly lit. To put a spotlight behind her head, you need to go to masking. And this trick is, I think, going to astound you if you haven't seen it before. So we're going to go to masking, and we're going to get a radial gradient. And we're going to draw a radiant, gr radial gradient over her face. And I want it to be perfectly round. And to do that, just hold in the shift key when you drag. And you could drag out a perfectly round radial gradient. So something like that. So I have this radial gradient right over her face. And if I go to the tone section of masking and just move exposure up, obviously it's going to brighten up her face. But I don't want it to brighten up her face. I just want it to brighten up the background. Well, to do that, after you apply it, Go up to where it says Mask 1, click on the three little dots, go to Intersect Mask With, and get this, go to Select Sky. I'm not sure why this works, but it works. Now you'll notice that it's only affecting the background and it's not affecting our model at all. And again, this will work in Lightroom Classic and in the cloud version of Lightroom. Give it a try. Now I'm going to reset this. And for our final stupid Lightroom trick. Uh, it also will work in Lightroom Classic and the cloud version of Lightroom. If again, you're in a similar situation and you have a model in front of a seamless paper backdrop and you'd like to change the color of the backdrop, it's really very, very easy to do in Lightroom. Go to masking and mask for the backdrop, background. So click there and you'll get the red overlay on the background. Now go down to color and go to saturation and take saturation all the way down. So now we have this gray background. Then go to right under saturation. You see it says color here and there's a little swatch. Click on that swatch. Then just pick a color. And you can make this any color you want. Like that. So that's how you change the color of your seamless paper background in Lightroom Classic or the cloud version of Lightroom. That's it for stupid Lightroom tricks in this video. Again, if you'd like me to do more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. And as always, I really do appreciate everyone watching my videos. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys soon.